esto nació en el 2009. Siempre me llamó la atención el vidrio, un material sumamente ecológico y reciclable, que me permite trabajarlo de muchas formas y colores de una manera sustentable. Siempre busco que todos los objetos que utilizamos a diario puedan ser diferentes, tener un toque artístico y, por sobre todo, que representen la esencia y la visión de quienes comparten ese espacio. Me dedico a combinar arte y funcionalidad por medio del vidrio, decorar y ambientar casas y oficinas junto con el cliente. Cuando me llaman, diseñamos juntos la obra que necesita, escucho sus ideas y las hago realidad. Estoy presente en el diseño del producto, en su colocación y en su utilización. El método de producción con el que trabajo es completamente sustentable, porque el vidrio es un elemento sumamente noble que puede reciclarse infinitas veces y el proceso de fabricación no contamina el ambiente. En cada obra que realizo, queda el sentimiento de un trabajo hecho a conciencia. Dejo siempre lo mejor de mí. El cliente siente que sus ideas están representadas y que ese espacio le pertenece. Hello, I'm Ana Laura Quintana. I'm an Argentine interior designer and love to materialize in glass the objects that I design. I live in San Nicolás, a city by Parana River. I started working with this incredible material, making glass panels and lampshades. But due to spinal column surgeries, I wasn't able to continue. Finding at last that Pat de Bell is the one with which I feel more comfortable working with. But the bear is paste of glass in French. For the paste is used glass fritz and powder mixed with a binder. Then this mixture has to be dumped into the mold and fused by firing. Trying to simplify this traditional technique, I avoid making the model and the mold. I simply work the paste of glass powder with a binder while it is still wet, giving it the desired form. Let it dry and fuse it by firing it with little support. This is the glass powder that I mix with the binder. I always design using curving lines round shapes. They transport me to nature forms with its movements and containment feelings. So my favorite pieces are the vessels. With the development of this technique, I achieved the results that I was looking for. Delicate and ethereal objects, but hard. After drying, you can continue working it. During this lockdown, I made them holes, reflecting the difficulties in feeling protected. The most important moment in this technique is what happens inside a kiln. So the key is to elaborate the appropriate firing schedule.
To finish them, I paint the edges with liquid gold and they return to the kiln. The creation has no limits and as a glass artist I'm always exploring and experimenting to find different ways of achieving this traditional king glass technique, adapting it to my physical and economic possibilities. My name is Ana Quiroz. I am a visual artist from Mexico. And I like to use uh, in my sculptures uh, recycled broken glass uh, using a very simple mosaic technique. Soy Andrea da Ponte, de Buenos Aires, Argentina, Sudamérica. Quiero agradecer al director y a la organización de la Bienal Internacional de Vidrio de Bulgaria por haberme seleccionado. He participado en los anteriores años, 2017 y 2019. Quiero felicitarlos por el avance y progreso. Para todos los artistas que utilizamos el vidrio como un material de expresión, son muy importantes estos eventos que nos permiten relacionarnos y ser visibles. Mi obra, Globalizado, Habla precisamente de eso, un mundo en constante movimiento y cambio, precisamente al que debemos adaptarnos bajo estas circunstancias. Les envío un gran abrazo a toda la comunidad del vidrio de alrededor del mundo. Hola, soy Anjali Venkar, soy un glass artist based in Singapore. I've been working with this medium for the last 26 years. I like to work with post-consumer glass, so I use discarded windows, broken uh, bottles, broken mirrors, anything of glass that's broken and discarded, I use that as my raw material. What I create day after day are my dreams of nature in her various forms and elements. While my work is simply my interpretation of the world around us, I believe everyone can discover their own meanings in each piece. Right from concept to creation, I aim to give ordinary materials like post-consumer glass a new life while giving reality a new twist. Hi, my name is Batia Mach Shepherd and I'm from Israel. Uh, this sculpture, I call it Genesis because the feeling of it is that there's nothing else except for the sunrise at the horizon. After sailing at sea uh, in the Mediterranean and watching the sunrise over the horizon, which takes about half an hour, first of all, you see an aura coming out of the horizon and the aura grows and grows, the light grows until after about half an hour, you see suddenly the sun creeps out. I try to capture this moment uh, in this sculpture. I work with glass casting and relief. I studied in the Czech Republic and I try to express in my sculptures um, the feelings that I have from every in, in interpretation of uh, um, inter interactions we have in life. This is the interaction of the sky and the earth, the sea, um, as well as other interactions in our uh, society, in, in religion, in family, and within ourselves. Um, this is a unique sculpture, a one-off piece. I didn't make any copies of it, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. My name is Batya, and I live in Israel. In an ecological village my husband and I moved to when we finished studying in Bitzalel Art Academy. So actually, while I'm talking, I'm also try trying to give you a small glimpse inside the studio. I began my way as an artist doing functional objects. But over the years, something has changed and I find myself now more interested in processes than in the end products. 
I like to leave a lot of things unknown in my work. To allow the unconscious to kind of find its way inside. It also means that I have lots of surprises. Lots of works get thrown into the garbage, but every once in a while a work arrives that's more than the sum of things I put inside. The work I present in the Biennale is a meeting point for two loves of mine. My love of glass and the motion that I find inside it and my love of movement, dance. I'm a Feldenkrais teacher. So it's a special work for me because not often do you have an opportunity to put two loves together in one work. I like to work with fragments and pieces and parts, broken parts, and man manipulate them in the kiln. In a way, with these pieces and parts, I'm always actually looking to find the whole. Hi, I am Bernadette Neven from Belgium and I'm trained in glass painting. Out of curiosity, I soon went on to explore other glass techniques and possibilities with glass. Experimenting became my own and my way became glass and nature. As far as my work is concerned, this is very topical. The topicality was made even stronger by the flooding in our country. I myself was partly affected by the flooding. This shows that we need to think about how to interact with nature and architecture. My work consists of two forms, the beam and the cylinder. The beam represents the architecture that takes the place of nature. On it you see a black print that represents the dead of nature. The tree I used is no longer there. It became loose from the earth and had to be partly removed in order not to cause the soil to damage. The brown cylinder represents the felt tree. The white cylinder is melting the ice. The green cylinder are the rare green spots that remain. The figures are scenes or an influence of my daughter who studies architecture, interior architecture. From the multiple models she had to make, I got the idea of the playful and the figures. If you want to look at yourself in this context, the mirror is a means to reflect on this event. I hope you enjoy my work and I will continue. Hi. I will try to tell something about myself, even if my English is not the best. My name is Birgit Köplitz. I'm German, but I live and work in Hungary. I studied in the German city of Halle at the University of Art and Design, Gibichenstein. The training focused primarily on a glass design for architecture. Since that time, creating glass sculptures and architectural glass has been both close to my heart. I have had the chance to make some really large glass work for important buildings and to win competitions. Back to the beginning. After moving to Hungary already in the 90s, I started to work with studio glass especially with kiln-formed glass. In my latest creations, I playfully combine different techniques such as glass painting, casting, bending and pas de verre, but the arc and the gate motifs are always returning metaphors in my work. I am interested mainly in the transparency of glass as its special strength is woken up by the colors that run through it. My pictures, objects and installations suggest the surprises and unexpected turns of life. Although I prefer to work in my own studio, I take part in symposiums and many important group exhibitions apart from Hungary, also in Germany, 
United Kingdom, China, Japan and more. Thank you for your attention. Hello, I'm glad that I could share this moment with you, even though it may only be virtually. But these are the times we're living, right? My name is Claudia Nao. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. I am a glass, visual and mixed media artist. My work is inspired by color, reflected light, textures and nature. Art through creative expressions has always been an integral part of my inner self, connecting all aspects of my life since my childhood. There is nothing perfect about my work because perfection is not what I am striving for. Imperfection is part of the handmade and it is a part of my life path and the story of my work. Sacred Letter is a piece that I created in April towards the beginning of the health pandemic that wreaked havoc on the world and impacted the lives of so many people. I wanted my piece to serve as a sort of flashback to when physical scrolls were the main form of communication between people and communities living far distances from each other. It is a testament to how far we have come in such a little time. I feel very honored and happy to have been chosen with one of my favorite pieces and I will have love to be there with you now, but I am also delighted to have this option available to me while I am at home here in Florida. Enjoy the exhibition everyone, stay safe and thank you so much, bye bye. My name is Claudia Vitari. I'm an Italian artist, but at the moment I live in Berlin. Since 2008, um, I've been working with uh, social subjects and marginalized people and stigmatized people. For example, um, I've been working in Italy with uh, prison inmates for one year and a half. Um, I've been working in Barcelona also with a radio station called Radio Nicosia run by people who have a di diagnosis of mental illness. So what I do is um, I analyze um, the institution and the society in which we live and I get to know the, indivi the affected individuals and um, I, I work with them and I get to know them and uh, I try to be part of the group for one year or more to, to tell their stories. Since 2014, I'm working with asylum-seeking people um, in a bigger project, like a big installation called Interstitial Identities. What I'm presenting here is part of this installation. Um, actually, the second part. Of, um, the first part uh, is called Oplatz, and um, the second part is called the Lager Mobi, because I've been working uh, in Berlin with uh, two different activist groups. The first uh, group occupied uh, a square, Oranienplatz, Oplatz, and they were mostly coming from uh, African countries um, and they were protesting about uh, their situation in Berlin with the asylum procedure. And the second part, uh, Lagermobi, I realized it like I've been following um, this um, activist group, which is called Lag Lager Mobilization Network, and uh, we are going together into um, inside the refugee camps. Uh, we talk with the people. Uh, they come from many different countries, um, as uh, Afghanistan, uh, Iran, um, Eritrea, for example, Syria, and we. We try to understand what their problems are and we try to help them with protests or just um, with, uh, with the bureaucracy if it's needed or with, um, we, we organize social events to get to know each other. I use glass as a magnifying lens. You can look through it and through the stories of the people I'm portraying um, 
and see the society we live in uh, in another way and maybe get a different idea about uh, those subjects. Hello. Um, my name is Dan Zdowskis. I am from Latvia. <clears throat> Uh, vispār es vienmēr pasaku kāds vārds latviski, ja kurā izstāds atlāšanā, ja kurā, ja kurā uh, mītingā ar, ar uh, kolēģiem, draugiem un auditorijiem. It's uh, means that uh, I always say some words uh, in Latvian. Now I wanted to say greetings to your family, your uh, Bulgarian International Art Event. Uh, this Vienna. Of course, uh, I'm take part in the second time. <clears throat> it was uh, maybe six years ago. I think so. But now I will be back after some time. Of course, I'm. Uh, I'm working in Lars Art. Uh, uh, a little bit about my biography. Um, as I said, I'm Lars Artist from Latvia. And maybe you know City Riga, maybe not. But anyway, it's uh, from Baltic states. And um, what I should say about me, about myself, um, I'm working in glass about 40 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, I started uh, as blower. I was blo uh, blowing glass in, uh, at the factory in uh, Riga. Mm, uh, and after that, I was invited to, uh, uh, to work with. Um, Glass works as a de designer, and uh, I was working as a designer too. After that, um, okay, uh, and I, in glass art, I, uh, I had many works um, in stained glass, you know, and uh, after that, of course, I had. Uh, very good support uh, from Soviet uh, times, um, but the means mean uh, from Moscow, and uh, I, did, I had uh, many opportunities to work in this uh, Soviet uh, fabrics and, and foundation and so on. And after that, I started uh, to teach at the Academy of uh, uh, Art in Latvia. And um, yeah, it's uh, very shortly, but uh, I think um, you need shorty biography. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, Hulk in uh, last uh, today. Uh, I think I am a little bit uh, maybe not so not so uh, artist glass for this time because uh, my, edu my education and my thinking I, my understanding about glass it's uh, <laughs> um, a little bit uh, old-fashioned but uh, what uh, we can do it's a um, story about some artist um, for me, it's uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I never exploit uh, some of this uh, material things. What you mean? Um, beauty of glass? No, no, no way. Uh, because I always try to uh, make my composition in uh, some other manner. What does it mean? 
it means culture of Mano. Uh, because you know that um, class art is a little bit uh, simple understanding for, for years and for history is that it's applied art and uh, crafts art and so. No. And for uh, my youngest years, I started to think in an absolutely different way. Uh, but see, I uh, didn't want to explore it, explore it. Mm, this um, super qualities of glass art, you know, this uh, material, no. Of course, in my youngest years, I did it, but after that, I, I started to uh, think uh, some other way. And uh, yeah, it's my way to, to live in this uh, glass art community. Uh, we are now in my studio when I'm doing some watercolors because this medium is a uh, uh, the same one, 50 to 50. I'm uh, doing my works um, in watercolor and in, in glass art. Um, uh, I'm doing my glass work in, in Riga, in some studios from my ex students. Studios because I had, but uh, not now. Yeah, you know, you know, it's very expensive and so. But I have. Uh, possibility to do this work in Riga. Uh, uh, we are uh, now in Sigulda, it's uh, 50 kilometers from Riga, it's not so far. And I, uh, when I have some ideas and uh, uh, composition of my uh, works, I do works in, in, uh, in Riga. Um, what I wanted to say is that uh, I'm not um, in mainstream. If you know Habitat and, uh, and so, I'm absolutely not in this way. I'm not doing these things. I'm never uh, uh, thinking about uh, some um, selling and so. Never, never. I'm uh, very happy that I um, can live in this way. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
Казвам се Ивайло Найнов, роден съм в град София. През 2014 година завършвам средното си образование в професионална гимназия за изобразителни изкуства Николай Райнов. От 6 години се занимавам с такло. През периода 2014-2020 година участвам в много изложби, краткосрочни стажове, специализации, специализирани стажове, организирани от нов български университет. Правя спекани музикални инструменти от стъкло. Идеята на моето произведение е поводена от една съвременна изложба на музикални инструменти, която беше открита в Нов Български университет. Участвал съм в международното биенаре на Старкло през 2017 и 2019 година. Hi, my name is Yijian Guo, come from China. I'm a glass artist and uh, sculptor. I'm a professor of Shandong University of Art and Design. They are the glass, public art, and uh, sculptures. I'm the director of the Institute of Glass Research, the head of the program of glass and ceramics. I achieved my PhD in the UK University of Sunderland in 2016. My class works always focus on the inside painting technology combined with uh, film casting and blowing glass. The inside painting technology it was uh, inherited from the traditional Chinese snuff bottles, which have developed for hundreds of years in China. And uh, my other ideas was uh, come from the traditional Chinese Tao. I tried to make a new model for the contemporary glass art. Thank you. Hello, my name is Julia Kastler and I am a stained glass artist. Welcome to my studio. My passion for glass began almost 20 years ago when I was 19 years old, attending the only glass school in Austria. Along with a basic training in cold and hot working of glass, I learned the technical and craft skills for my artistic work. After working in stained glass restoration, among other fields, I entered the Art University in Linz to define my artistic identity further by making art and experimenting with different media to finally come back to glass, especially stained glass. After a one-year traineeship with Mark Angus, a renowned British glass painter, I opened up my own studio in 2020. I'm fascinated by the power of color and the variety of glass and its textures revealed through illumination. Working primarily with hand-blown flash glass by Lambert, using different glass painting techniques, I combine the traditional with the unconventional in my artwork. Visual narratives are brought to light through each individual glass panel. I find relationships fascinating between human and nature, human and human, and human and the space that surrounds us. Everything is interwoven and interrelated, displaying intangible dynamics. Narratives, often from mythological literature, challenge me also to engage with them artistically. Traditional stained glass is rooted in spirituality. I love how this tradition can branch out into new expressions of spirituality, incorporating visual effects that address certain topics. Listening, exploring, seeking, the other, the unexpected or the unbelievable. A constant source of my inspiration is nature. Its seemingly cyclical pattern passes through time and spirals through the years. It determines our lives, yet can be transmitted or interpreted in so many different ways and forms. Hi, 
Hi everyone, my name is Julia Rokina. I'm a mixed media fine artist uh, based in St. Petersburg, Russia. I mostly work with glass. I fell in love with glass while I was studying uh, at Stilet State Academy of Art and Design on glass department in St. Petersburg. After graduating the academy, I became a co-founder of Glass Creative Space and Brand Deirdre Design Studio, in which we run as a team with my colleague uh, Vera Goldova. Uh, in my art projects, I explore relationship between planet nature and megapolis, society, and the environment. I like to work in the technique of multi-layer bending for achieving the depth of color, finding the balance of uh, shape of the art piece and content. I like to employ the ideas of the installations because of this is uh, the best way to communicate with viewers, I suppose. Uh, I want people to stay with the project edited and look at the work on the basis of personal experience. And yeah, I'm happy to be the part of International Glass Biennial in Bulgaria. I'm happy to be here and now. Thank you. Hello, I'm Klaus Hülsbecher. I'd like to take you for a walk through my studio. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Lee Harris. I'm a hot glass sculptor in Chicago, Illinois, as well as Los Angeles, California. I'm incredibly humbled and honored to be part of the Bulgarian Biennale. And uh, I am really excited to be among the world-class artists that are participating. My work is centered around human forms as well as animals and nature. Uh, the dialogue that they might have with one another, and our place in nature. Uh, it's consistently a study, every time I go to the studio, about the spirit of glass and how I can convey those feelings that I have in my heart and soul at that moment. Uh, my work stems from human forms, like this sculpted bust. And actually, uh, the piece that I have in the Biennale is, uh, I titled... Papal Reliquaries, which represents a pope who's been exhumed after uh, 500 years under a glass shroud. And uh, so there's times when it's uh, commentaries about religion, spirituality, and again, nature. So much of my work is sea life, such things as this uh, blown sculpted clown, fit, clown trigger fish, or it could be more imaginative type work, such as this, uh, I call it a cave rhino. So this represents the, uh, the wall of a cave in France that they discovered where the, the work that was drawn on the walls by cavemen was from 40,000 years ago. So I try and duplicate the texturing and the effect and the feeling of that cave art. But the commonality of all my work is none of it is done with glue. It's all done hot because I believe that once I blow into the sacred medium of glass, it ignites that peace to become alive and has its own life. And then again, 
it's experimental with the texturing, the endless texturing, the effects that the glass has, that you can do something that's never been done before. And really that solo one-on-one -on -one journey and intimacy with the medium of glass. It's never ending and it's just, it goes on and on. So anyway, I really appreciate your including me in this incredible show. You can visit my website, www.leeharrisstudios.com. And on that site, you'll see my 700 finished works that include primarily glass, but also bronze, hammered metals, and hollow form work, as well as ceramics. Thanks so much. Have a great show. Ciao. Hi, I'm Lynn Nova. I've been a uh, glass blower for 25 years. Uh, about 18 years ago, we set up Lava Glass here in Taupo, in New Zealand, and I proceeded to develop some techniques that allowed me to create a nice um, organic flow to my design so that I could express uh, my love of the landscape. Um, because of my love of the landscape, we decided to create a Carbon Zero Studio. So our um, last month studio here is now rated as a Carbon Zero. And hopefully I can continue to make lovely glass for the future with a clear conscience. Hello, my name is Marina Alitzi. I'm 27 years old and I come from Fronten, Germany. I went to the State Vocational School for Glass and Jewelry from 2012 to 2015 in Neugablas. I received my certificate of apprenticeship for glass and porcelain painting there. Since 2015, I worked as a freelance glass artist in my own studio in Fronten, where I created sculptures with the casting glass technique. In my works, the human body, forms from nature and mysticism play an important role. The works always carry a message, sometimes obviously recognizable, sometimes hidden deep in the glass. The main focus of my current work is on political issues. Thus, the resulting works are an expression of a deep engagement with social and environmental events. What fascinates me most about working with glass is the transparency of the material and the possibility of using it to create tensions between light and color in the individual sculptures. Thank you. Mi nombre
nombre es Marta Isabel Ramírez, soy diseñadora industrial de profesión, pero artista por vocación. que diariamente me da la vida. de mi trabajo se centra en una imitación casi obsesiva del agua. A partir del proyecto Slow Motion que desarrollé como artista en residencia en Corning Museum of Glass, con mi trabajo propongo recrear momentos detenidos del agua en movimiento, permitiéndole alcanzar su propia naturaleza. El resultado es una serie de formas danzantes, suspendidas, escribiendo en el aire o proyectando sombras. Esta captura su esencia real y exalta su ambigüedad. A través de la fotografía es casi imposible distinguir con precisión el objeto de la imagen, si es agua o es vidrio. es el nuevo oro líquido del siglo XXI y en torno a esto vemos como se articulan nuevamente las luchas por el control. Ubicar el agua como un bien comerciable pone los derechos humanos básicos en manos de las instituciones financieras y los inversores que convertirán el agua en el nuevo petróleo. Hello, my name is Mirka Ptačkova and I am a glassmaker, sculptor and curator. I studied stone sculpture and glass design. I am currently the head of the WhatsApp Heart Gallery and I am living and working in Zlin in the Czech Republic. The first are small drawings with a brush and ink on handmade paper. The first significant work of mine was the series of objects breath of the inner tube. The aspiring air bubbles from the valve led me to the idea of working with the volume inside the inner tube itself. The experiments took place directly at the glassworks. For the last year I have been working with sheets of glass and fiber glass mesh layering, etching, sanding and finishing the surfaces of rents with a body of paints. What arises is a seemingly unexpected image of a landscape or more precisely a mirror of nature. To be nature, tree, water, horizon, flower, mountain, the way of glass born. Hi, I'm Negin Navabi from Iran. I'm very glad for being accepted in this exhibition for the second time. First of all, I would like to thank the IBG group for giving me this great opportunity. 
I have studied full industrial engineering, but as far as I can remember, I always loved art. Uh, my journey started by working with ceramics uh, for 20 years, and I accidentally became acquainted uh, with the fuse class and casting on the internet and got interested. Because the lack of adequate facilities and resources in my country, I had to learn the glass art by myself. I learned it mostly on internet and by experience. Now it's been 12 years that I'm working on glass. I've had 30 solo exhibitions in my country so far and have uh, participated in several group exhibitions uh, in Australia, Turkey and France. In 2015, I was accepted for Artist in Residency program of the Glass Furnace in Turkey, and this program made progress in my work. My work is about what's happening around me. I try to introduce my country, people, and culture. During the pandemic, uh, I was uh, infected severely with cholera, coronavirus twice. In my country, we don't have enough vaccines, so people go to war against the uh, coronavirus uh, empty-handed. And in this exhibition, my piece named Catch is about this battle. In the future, I uh, plan on sharing my love and passion for glass by promoting my art, trying to show the glamour and elegance of the glass art. Hi, my name is Nilgün. Actually, I am a physician. You know, medicine is very painful and stressful field of study. Years ago, in order to balance the situation, I started to interest it in ceramic art, 2001. I attended too many national and international group exhibitions. After a traffic accident in 20. 12. I left the medical field and started to deal with art full-time, particularly with glass art. I started my glass training in Istanbul Glass Furnace Foundation with Czech glass artist Franz Zekianak in 2010. And I continue with valuable teachers like Lala Andic, Julian Danton, Nejat Kavas, I have eight solo exhibitions. My artworks took place in several catalogs, collections, and museums. The glass sculptures I created from microscope glass were the most striking work in this field. Thus, I have built a meaningful bridge with the pathology. I am allowed to see the most striking features of her are the fact that it holds all sheets of blue, its deep, its fertility, the horizon that gives the feeling of eternity. Glass moves with the light, giving new meanings to the light passing through it. Over time, I saw the strong connection of glass with the sea. I discovered that I can tell everything about the sea with glass. I believe that design with glass has a healing effect for both the producer and the viewer. Merhabalar, ben Özge Biçer, cam sanatçısıyım. Lisans ve yüksek lisans eğitimimi cam üzerine tamamladım. Uzun yıllardır soğuk cam şekillendirme teknikleri üzerine çalışmaktayım. Aynı zamanda üniversitede soğuk cam şekillendirme teknikleri derslerini vermekteyim. Devam eden projelerimde ileri dönüşüm alanında atık camları kullanarak çalışmalarımı sürdürmekteyim. Bu yıl Bulgaristan'da 3.sü düzenlenen cam bienalinde dönüşüm adlı cam heykelimle yer alıyorum. Herkese çok teşekkür ederim. Sevgiler. Našej tvorbe sa zameriavame na skúmanie svetelnej prchavosti, v súvislosti s kresbou, sklenou plochou, fotografiou, 
Skôr navodzuje pocit fyzickej neistoty a dezorientácie. Zároveň ten materiál navodzuje aj atmosféru, silnú atmosféru svetla. Hľadáme e, limity medzi fotografiou a sklom. A tento proces reverzibility e, obrazu sa viac nasomne opakuje. Ideme z 2D do 3D, zase sfotíme, ideme do, do 2D a táto, toto opakovanie nám umožňuje zachytávanie ke svetlocitlivej pamäte. A vytvára sa nám vlastne táto svetlocitlivá pamäť na v celom priestore, či je to už priamo na v inštalácii alebo pracuje e, so, so stenami architektúry. A architektúru vlastne doplňajú tie silné konštrukcie, ktoré sa už v tento moment stávajú samostatnými. Dielo sa tak mení na takú geometrickú konštrukciu pomocou sklených a fotografických plôch. Steny sa stávajú svetlocitlivými plochami, na ktorých sa premietajú abstraktné, ab, abstraktné tieňohry. Remeselné spracovanie nám poskytuje slobodu a toto všetko navzájom nám dáva možnosti na vytvorenie konceptuálneho zámeru, na realizovanie zámeru v konkrétnom priestore. My name is Patricia Bagnievski and I'm a glass artist from Brazil. My passion in glass started more than 20 years ago when I saw a demonstration in glass in Stockholm. So I started to search for glass courses and since at the time they were not available in Brazil, I went abroad to London in 1998. Then when I went back home, I opened my own studio And in 2006, I got a scholarship for masters in glass in Japan. During this time, I learned all glass techniques. In my personal work, I like to mix fusing, casting, lamp work, and glass blowing. For this work, I produce photographs from overhead projections of assemblages of glass objects. The shadows resemble dreamlike images that relate to the obscure times we are facing nowadays. I'm very happy to be part of this exhibition together with such talented glass artists from all over the world. Primer comença pel foc, per, per una, una explosió de foc, diguéssim, de calor, que allà on es forma tot. O sigui, hi ha una part com magmàtica de, gairebé d'un volcà o sí, que és el que passa dintre el forn, en què hi ha temperatura i allà es genera un... Nosaltres no fabriquem vidre, però sí que el transformem i en aquest moment hi ha un moment de creació d'una matèria prima, per dir, alguna cosa que després sortirà del forn, diguem, arriba al món i allà es va transformant. No? Ens vam conèixer el 1992 a la Fundació Centre del Vidre estudiant diferents tècniques de vidre. Des d'aleshores formem un equip i treballem conjuntament totes les peces. Treballem diferents tècniques, totes són de vitrofusió. Això vol dir que normalment modelem una peça amb un altre material i després obtenim uns motllos que van al forn, els omplim de vidre i aconseguim per fusió uns volums que després treballem en fred, al taller de talla, els, els treballem amb moles, amb diferents materials abrasius per aconseguir diferents superfícies, volums i, i l'acabat de les peces definitives. 
El primer taller el teníem a Barcelona, vam començar l'any 2000 i el 2015 ens vam traslladar a Verdú. Vam muntar la casa, el taller i l'estudi tot en una sola peça i des d'aleshores estem aquí. Des que estem a Verdú hem guanyat molt d'espai i també qualitat de vida. Estem aquí a prop de, del camp i és, bueno, per nosaltres és molt millor que la ciutat. Els processos que fem servir són molt semblants a, als processos naturals d'erosió, de, de desgast, una mena d'acceleració de processos naturals. També. La nostra obra, el que és important des de fa uns anys, és el concepte de, de la memòria. Per això aquesta escritura a l'interior, aquesta sobreposició d'un gest tan personal com és l'escritura i del temps. Aquesta superposició gairebé geològica, de capa sobre capa sobre capa, transparent a més, que curiosament eh, tanta transparència fa que sigui gairebé impossible o molt difícil de llegir aquell aquella escriptura, aquell contingut. Això és un... Des de fa uns anys és un... un tema que estem treballant i donant voltes a aquest concepte. Bonjour. L'International Biennale of Grasse Bulgaria me demande de me présenter à vous. Un exercice pas facile pour moi. Belge et Wallon, malheureusement uniquement francophone, je suis né à Liège d'une mère slovaque et d'un père Wallon. J'habite cette ville multiculturelle de plus ou moins 200 000 habitants depuis ma naissance. Une ville très proche des Pays-Bas et de l'Allemagne. Jeune, j'ai commencé mes humanités artistiques interrompu pour rentrer au chemin de fer et y faire une carrière de 40 ans. 40 ans, où mes seules activités artistiques furent l'aménagement et la décoration de ma maison. C'est en 1997, à ma prépension, que démarre ma seconde vie et que j'entre en art comme en religion. Je suis assez éclectique, et si mes passions de base étaient le verre et la céramique, les formations que j'ai suivies, et notamment mon cursus complet en sculpture à l'Académie des Beaux-Arts de Liège, et mes multiples formations m'ont largement appris à jeter mes pierres hors de mes poches et ouvert les yeux sur l'interpénétration des techniques. Pour moi, c'est de la fusion du thème et de la matière qui émerge l'œuvre. Selon l'inspiration, j'ai déjà utilisé dans mes œuvres des sacs poubelles, des débris d'abibus, des ampoules brûlées, des planches de WC, de vieux balais de glace des blocs de lave du salon liquéfié, essoufflé le verre et fondu éteint le plastique. Rien ne m'arrête, sinon mes limites personnelles. L'œuvre que je présente à cette Biennale 2021 est un hommage à mon épouse, décédée en 2017, dont j'ai repris l'expression néerlandaise, la langue maternelle, qu'elle Magda utilisait it en enfant. Ik Magda, je fais ça. J'espère que mon travail vous intéressera. Comme essentiel de mes œuvres, il reflète un sentiment, une pulsion, bien loin d'une démarche commerciale. Je ne cherche pas à plaire, si j'y arrive, tant mieux. Hi, I'm Sophie Langwell. I'm a glass artist based in Cork City, Ireland. Oh yeah? <laughs> I started working with glass in 2013 when I was studying at the National College of Art and Design in Dublin. 
and I've been in love with it ever since. So I specialise in kiln formed glass, particularly a technique called pat de verre, which means glass paste, and it's using very finely crushed glass powders and fricks. I combine this technique with elements from intaglio printmaking in my work. In everything I make, I'm trying to capture a fleeting moment of time and a little sense of wonder at everyday moments in life. My current series is called Nubivagin, which means glad wanderer. These vessels are inspired by beautiful skies and lucid dreaming. I'm really interested in colour and texture in the work, and I love that glass has this material narrative of ephemerality, which is perfect for what I'm trying to convey. I really try to catch that little moment of feeling amazed when you see something really beautiful in nature and just translating that into sculptural form. You can find out more about my work at longwallstudio.com and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Longwall Studio. Thank you. En mis trabajos utilizo una gran cantidad de técnicas para darle forma a mis ideas. Mi foco principal está en el vidrio. Mi amor por este material nace contemplando los vitrales de los templos. En mi experiencia, la necesidad de comunicarme a través de imágenes transparentes, llenas de color y riqueza, me han empujado a explorar los límites y las posibilidades del casting, pasta de vidrio, vitrofusión, así como también otras, cerámica, textil, moda. Creo que el color es un elemento fundamental, estoy muy atenta a su significado y a su percepción psicológica. Mis trabajos se inspiran fuertemente en los vínculos humanos. Pienso las obras como si de escenarios se tratase, donde el tiempo se detuvo y las emociones quedaron contenidas. El trabajo seleccionado para esta ocasión es una pasta de vidrio confeccionada con un método quizás innovador. Está realizada con polvo de vidrio adicionada con pigmentos y adictivos que permiten modelar, estrechar, mezclar, doblar, estrujar, retorcer, tejer y más. Como si fuera una arcilla. En esta serie, mi intención se centró en la cualidad afectiva de los materiales moldeables y con ello realicé estas de retratos femeninos, donde la idea del amor quería que sea evidente. Quiero agradecer a la organización de este evento la oportunidad que brindan de compartir nuestros trabajos y nuestras experiencias. Sigámonos cuidándonos en estos momentos que nos tocan atravesar. Mi nombre es Teresa Pú, trabajo y vivo en Argentina. The piece that is being exhibited at the International Bulgarian Glass Biennale is from a body of work of mine called Ritual Relations. The work explores artifacts from around 2000 BC in ancient Cyprus that had ceremonial and ritualistic uses. During the late Bronze period, where the focus of my research was, in places such as Gideon and Engomi in Cyprus, oxen were being used as part of ritual ceremonies where they were sacrificed in honor of pawned deities. These ritual spaces were adorned with ball-shaped ascoi and writer or writon vessels, which played a part in these rituals in a variety of ways. They served both as pouring vessels during libation ceremonies and markers of the ritual space. These terracotta vessels, along with other bucranium and ball masks, will be displayed around the edges of the spaces and on the outside of the walls of tombs and houses, functioning as apotreic objects. The reinvention of these forms take shape as abstracted ball sculptures. It is the way that I can connect back to my Cypriot heritage and keep some of these ideas from the past alive by reimagining them in glass. Each piece requires close attention to craftsmanship and explores a combination of hot and cold glass techniques, from hot sculpting in the hot shop to lathe cutting in the cold shop. Blown glass in ancient Cyprus was not as prevalent as ceramics, therefore I was presented with the opportunity with my research to translate some of these ideas and pieces into the medium of glass. Uh, 
I am Tirza Ferrits. I'm an artist and living and working in Apeldoorn in the Netherlands. And I make all kinds of things. Not only glasswork. As you can see here, this is the most recent work I made uh, in glass. But also, I make this table, that lamp over there. That Unico, which you can see over there in the, at the window. And of course, I make all kind of objects of things which were um, from people before. So it's used, I used it again and make all kind of objects of that with different materials. But also used glass, most of the time glass is involved as well. And of course I make things at the wall, for at the wall, as you can see over here, and that's another one. And I made glass work, I designed and made glass work, which took about five years to develop this, because most of the time people said to me that it was impossible to make. And for the first time I represented this glass work at the Salone del Mobile in Milano. It's quite unique, because this pylon is in the middle of the glass, and for wine it's beautiful.
Hello everybody, uh, my name is Medvuka Berkalová. I'm a class artist from Czech Republic. I'm also a PhD student on Academy of Art, Architecture and Design in Prague. So welcome to my terribly messy studio in Telč, a small city on the south of Czech Republic. So, about my work. So the, my main focus is on film casting, what is also the main topic of my PhD research. Um, working on developing new investment material for mold making for kiln casting. Uh, another big topic of my work are large scale installation combining crystal glass and liquid black ink. So that's about my, about my work in general. So about the piece you can see on the exhibition. And one of the castings I actually made as a part of my uh, PhD research. The whole collection Smiesi mixtures is actually kind of documentation of the process of developing the new new material. I kind of adore the imperfection uh, of it, of finding new ways and I think that's pretty really specific for my work then. I'm not really fun, big fan of perfect polished surfaces. Um, I love to keep my objects alive through this kind of... How do you say it? Like, never end the process, never finish them. So this might be a little bit different about my work compared to the work of other cast casters. So the process is really visible in my works. So it's really difficult to describe one one work in so short time. So this is it. So enjoy the exhibition if you're in Sofia and if you're not Enjoy your time anyway and anywhere. Goodbye. Neon на трубке вытаскивает это стекло и заливает в форму, то есть стекло стекает как такая карамель, жидкая, светящаяся, и он отрезает их большими такими металлическими ножницами. То есть я стояла, смотрела, мне казалось, что это, ну, не знаю, это давно солнечный свет разливает эту форму. И это выглядит настолько потрясающе, что именно, наверное, вот именно вот в эту секунду я подумала, что я все-таки хочу уйти на свой художественный стекле. Я люблю очень разные стекло, я вообще люблю стекло. Но, наверное, все-таки прозрачное я люблю больше, чем пауэр. Ну, мне очень нравится сочетание, да, прозрачный пауэр. Я люблю очень мобильное стекло. Наверное, у меня есть такая мечта, что это была возможность реализовывать свои проекты в разных городах мира. Больше всего мне нравится так, да, когда ты уже все сделал. Ну, а был высушен потом. Какой все-таки молодец. Hello, my name is Vesi Gekova and I'm a PhD in glass design and architecture. For the past decade, I have been actively involved in the academic field of art theory and practice. I am born and raised in the vibrant capital city of Sofia, where different cultures, architectural styles and Asian crafts meet and mix. My background has always been a huge inspiration and drive for me to explore my artistic talent and make an impact in the visual art world. This has been a demanding task, especially being a woman and coming from an ex-Soviet country. During my bachelor's studies, I did a six-month internship at the Czech Academy of Arts in Thomas Bati University in Zlin, where I mastered the creation of Bohemian art glass and 3D. After graduating, I continued my artistic development in the art field by doing a master's degree in the art of glass and ceramics in architecture. My art practice has led me to the foundation of my own jewelry brand in 2016, 
inspired by the Asian craft of the Thracians. During the course of my master's studies, I have already participated in more than 50 successful exhibitions on national and international level and was prized for my glass sculptures at international art festivals. In 2016, I took part in Professor Konstantin Volchev's grand project of reconstruction of the biggest Christian temple on the Balkan Peninsula, St. Alexander Nevsky's Cathedral. My goal is to promote art outside of the standard gallery format, extend its use once again in architecture and in public spaces. Art has the ability to cleanse one's soul out of the dust of everyday life, improve mental and physical health, which can lead to a betterment of our society. This is the main reason to do a PhD in the field of visual arts. The topic of my investigation is glass design and architecture in the period of the 20th and 21st centuries. Mastering the diverse art techniques broadened my vision of the possible implementation of arts and crafts in the field of architecture, design and jewelry making. I use various glass techniques such as blowing, kiln casting, fusing, slumping and painting. The result is a study and implementation of various techniques of glass making that draw a bridge between the ancient and the modern trail position. By applying these methods and after doing an internship in a leading architectural studio, I am able to produce glass design for interior architecture at public spaces and private offices and homes. You can check out my projects at www.vesigekova.com and www.vesigekovajewels.com. Hi everybody, nice that you're following me to my second working place and this is here, I'm doing the more bigger stuff here, like uh, uh, wall work and gluing my cubes together and my eggs together and um, have a look, come in. Now it is uh, like usual. It is in artist places a little bit crowded and a little bit chaotic. But um, very often, out of the chaos, we find uh, we explore a new thing. And so, I just want to give you a glimpse around. Yes, this, for example, is a new piece I made, and I don't. Want to clear it anymore to polish it it just for me it is um, the secret what is inside uh, two balls who are connected and depends on how you look on it uh, the colors um, disappear in one point like in my in my usual cubes and this i i like to do it like this in a, in a very smooth surface, a very smooth surface and uh, it's something new. Here um, you see different materials I use, foils and oh Jesus Christ, I have to help him, he's not hanging anymore. Uh, here you find new pieces. I have to, to make some boxes for it. And till I finish the boxes that will stay here and I have a look every day on it. So I can see my own work that is very seldom, except in, on exhibitions or fairs. Or yeah, this is uh, the place where I uh, measure my glues together, my two component glues and for simple things is a vacuum, a self-made vacuum box and to heat the, the glue a little bit up with a microwave and this one here you find a second working place is yeah, I make my wall work and this is, a, I make a construction of a turntable. It's very comfortable for me because I stay here. And if I need something, I just turn the table, take it off, and put it back, and take it up, or 
with pencils or colors, I can do very comfortable. So I don't have to go around, I just stay here and do it. This is the first sheet. And after that one, I take a second sheet of glass on it and uh, a second layer of painting and then a third, a fourth, a fifth. These are almost made out of five uh, pieces of glass, five sheets of glass. So I take a, a, um, a color, a brown color. This is, in this for example, is green, all green from the back side. And then I start painting in the front. And I'm taking another sheet on it and continuing my paintings. So that we get a nice, we get an idea how I create this wall, wall pieces. So I put it on it. And then here start the next layer. And then the next, the next, the next. Afterwards I glue it together. Uh, in the same manner like my cubes, but only only five sheets. But these five sheets are much more big than the cube sheets. So that means I have to be very careful not to get any bubbles inside. And uh, so, so when I glue these five sheets of a uh, wall work together. I also have this cross. I lay on it five sheets, and then I have this little, this little pieces, little, little screws I put inside, and now I'm I'm able to bring uh, to bring pressure. On the surface of the of the sheets, and that makes um, something with the color. The color floats sometimes away with the glue, and it makes. I can show here very well. That makes some uh, shade lines. I would say. Like this one. You see this? All these stripes. This is during the gluing process. Uh, the color is um, floating away. So that makes this effect of also of th uh, the third of dimension. Yeah, this is a, f a finished work. The last work I finished. This is also another one. And also here you can see. How the colors escape in some parts these stripes or here okay I can uh, show you some other objects if you like me. here are also three new pieces little ones I just, as I told you, I have to make some boxes for it and as long they will stay here. And here's also a mask. I created one of my designs. Very up to date. It remains a little bit on the, on the virus itself, I think. Thank you for listening and uh, I hope you will enjoy this little clip. Hello, my name is Zsolt Janos Budai from Budapest, Hungary. Um, I graduated in a modern art university of arts and design in Budapest. 
this is my workstation in the studio. You can see my robot sculpture here in the exhibition. I named Mr. Yellow. Uh, I have been working with this series of robots about for four years. Uh, lots of people ask me why I making robots. Um, this is a uh, easiest or hardest question for me because I wonder it is possible or how can I make uh, robots out of glass because the robots usually not made of glass they are usually big strong and made of metal etc imagine the glass robot civilization but we don't know who they are or what they are and or what they are, are doing here they are just here among us in the alternative world of reality and now this this is my next uh, uh, robot sculpture which will be 90 centimeter tall like that it will be uh, lots of parts and it has a metal skeleton because it will be heavy. I don't know how much heavy, but it's much heavier than Mr. Yellow and the other ones I made it. I hope you enjoyed the exhibition and you like my work. Thank you very much. Bye bye.